Uh, guys, this ain't good. Researchers from Binarily have discovered a new firmware attack named Logofill that has been found to impact virtually all Windows and Linux devices by exploiting two dozen vulnerabilities in UEFI. These vulnerabilities have been present for years, maybe even decades, and allow for the execution of malicious firmware early in the boot sequence, making infections nearly impossible to detect or remove. The attack bypasses security measures like secure boot and can be executed remotely. Fortunately, hackers need prior access to a machine before carrying out this attack. So in order for this to be successful, they would need to have physical access to a machine, exploit some other kind of remote code execution vulnerability, or trick a user into installing a piece of malware with administrator privileges. Logofail involves manipulating logos displayed on screens during the boot process. This attack can lead to arbitrary code execution during the driver execution environment or DXC phase of the boot process, the phase in which firmware loads and executes drivers, and grants full control over memory, disk, and the operating system. Logofail is also capable of delivering a second stage payload, dropping an executable onto the hard drive before the main operating system even starts. This was the proof of concept video created by Binarily, which demonstrates how an attacker could use this attack to execute code on a victim's computer during boot. For this demonstration, they're running Windows 11, and what they're showing here is that Secure Boot and Verified Boot are both enabled. The reason they show this is to prove that this attack can bypass both of these UEFI security features. They then execute this Python script, which will carry out the attack. When this script gets released to the public, I'll probably do a deeper dive on it and maybe even try to customize it to see how it handles different payloads and what damage it can potentially cause. Go ahead and get subscribed so you don't miss that video when it comes out. The script then creates some shell code and injects it by exploiting some of the UEFI vulnerabilities and the computer reboots. While the computer's booting, you can see the new boot logo. This is where the attack is actually happening and the payload is being ran. It's kind of funny how all this could be avoided, but manufacturers really wanted to show their boot logo when the machine starts. So here we are. Let me know in the comments if you think it's worth it. Once the machine is started and the user logs in, you can see a new file has been added to the desktop. This file was created by the payload they injected during the DXE phase of the boot process. Obviously, this is a pretty benign payload, but this serves as a proof of concept that shows that code could be executed during this attack. Theoretically, the payload could have been anything, like crypto mining or password stealing malware, or even a remote access backdoor that stays persistent even after a factory reset or fresh install of a new operating system. Odds are, if you're using a standard off the shelf motherboard with UEFI, you're probably vulnerable. So be sure to check your motherboard manufacturer's website for patches and get them installed as soon as they're released. 